Hey guys, it's Project Life Size. It's Friday, and this week we're talking about uh, where we are now as to where we wanted to be when we were kids, I think. Or the women we wanted to be when we were kids. Along the lines of that, ugh, when I was a kid, I really had no idea what I had when I had it. Uh, you know, I could go on and on and say, you know, I didn't have the greatest... A uh, role model to look up to in the lines of women to make me aspire to want to be that kind of mom, wife, uh, woman. Um, but the more I think about it, the more I go, oh my god, you know, she was a single mom and she balanced three kids and drunken boyfriends and she was just human. I didn't. I didn't want to be her growing up because I didn't like her growing up. Um, we had a rocky relationship. I wanted to be like Mariah Carey or Whitney Houston or, um, uh, I don't know. I wanted to be smart and, um, funny and beautiful and, uh, I loved to read. I loved to read when I was back in elementary school. They used to take me and a few other people on special field trips to go to uh, the junior high and the high school's libraries just to check out books because we were a little more advanced. And uh, I wanted to be smart and I wanted to be loved for the things that I did. And um, the more and more that I reflect, on that, the more and more I realize that I'm exactly where I want to be, exactly who I wanted to be. And this topic is so prevalent because I was listening to a song by Amanda Palmer of the Dresden Dolls, and she sings this song that even though I'm not where I think I want to be, I'm exactly where I want to be and, uh, and you should get that a listen to and I'm gonna go ahead and link it because it really makes you reflect on the things in your life that oh my god I'm gonna start crying this better not happen uh, it makes you reflect on the things in your life that you might take for granted um, I used to say when I grow up I want to be a mom and I want to be a wife and I want to be a, you know a strong independent woman in fact for a long time um, before I became an atheist uh, when I was a little kid I wanted to be a preacher and uh, that was of course frowned upon I wanted to be a leader of some kind and the more I think about it the more I realize through Project Life Size and through the friends and the family that I've cultivated since uh, gaining a respect for myself um, I am where I want to be and I am beautiful and smart and funny and I do like to read and I am somewhat of a leader. We as the people of Project Life Size, and I'm not just talking about like the girls on the channel, I'm talking about our viewers and the people that watch us every week and the people that see us go through different scenarios and totally relate to us. And We can be the difference between being the stigma and beating the stigma in life and to be who I want to be in life and that's me and that's us and I know this is such a hippie video but it's really I'm really feeling it you know um, I want you guys to go check out uh, of course if you haven't checked out my blog please check out my blog it's fat brat it's fatbrat.tumblr.com and uh, check out, uh, if you guys haven't checked out the Ask a Guy Who Likes Fat Chicks, check him. He is also on Tumblr and he answers some pretty awesome questions. But that being said, I will talk to you guys later and I hope you all have a phenomenal day and that's it. Bye bye.